standing at the ridge of uh, Shimla. So this is the heart of Shimla and the center of all sorts of hustle bustles in the town. Uh, so this is a bright sunny morning, uh, right, like you can see the, the high mast of the national uh, flag there. And uh, then at my uh, front, there is the, the famous Christ Church. Uh, Right now, this is around 9.30 a.m. in the morning and uh, the busy activity of the ridge and mall has not yet started. Uh, so I thought to roam on this street early in the morning. Uh, so this, this actually feels good because after uh, 10 or 11 a.m. and especially this is a weekend, so there is a possibility that lots and lots of people would um, come here. Uh, so at that side, uh, you can uh, see the statue of Indira Gandhi and if you go ahead a little bit more then uh, there is a statue of the another ex-Prime Minister of India, Atul Bihari Vajpayee. You need to go uh, straight ahead from here or you can take the, the left turn and you can reach to the Mal Road. Uh, first, I think it's a time for a hearty and light breakfast at one of the cafes. Let's go. The mall road of Shimla is a long stretch and lined with many branded shops, roadside eateries, benches for resting and numerous cafes and restaurants. This is Cafe Sol, a part of Hotel Kambarmer that's located just next to the tourism lift at mall road. Unfortunately, this was closed when we arrived. Embassy is an old and famous ice cream parlor at Mall Road on the way toward the High Court. This is one of the oldest bakery in Shimla, the National Bakery, serving so many delicacies years after years. Finally, we decided to take the breakfast stop at a roadside cafe on Malvo, whose specialty 
is serving all of their items with a touch of honey. The Gaiti Theatre or Gaiti Heritage Cultural Complex is a significant tourist spot of Shimla. It is located on the Mal Road. This classic Gothic style stone building was opened in 1887 and hosts major cultural events of the town since. This is Lakkar Bazaar, located at one end of the ridge. Lakkar means stuff made with wood and this market has several shops selling wooden toys, walking sticks and other items. This is Sitaram and Sons at the starting point of Lakkar Bazaar. The small shop serves very tasty chole kulche and tikki that are so popular that everything finishes daily by 3.30 pm. The place is crowded, lined with shops and small restaurants and street vendors selling junk jewellery and street food. Tripti Bakery at Lakkar Bazaar is a very good bakery and cake shop in Shimla. All products available here are of eggless variety. The muskaban, pastries and momos are super in taste. From morning near about 10 am till evening 8 pm, this road hustles and bustles with people's activities. This is the fire station built in the British era. It is a solid stone built structure. And just beside it, there is the road that uh, the staircase that takes you up to the ridge. And uh, while walking through the ridge, you can take that particular staircase to come down to this mall road and then again there are multiple staircases that are going down like this is one just opposite to the uh, fire station so this can take you to the uh, middle bazaar so uh, we are yet to have uh, today's lunch and Himachali Rasui is uh, one good restaurant here that serves you the, uh, the local, local food 
So let's go there, take this staircase and uh, go to that restaurant and see what uh, food we can, we can get. There are basically two types of options. One is Mandiyali uh, Dham um, and the other one is uh, another uh, type of Dham. So Dham is basically a Thali, Himachali Thali. And uh, let's see what, what we can get today. It is afternoon and we arrived at the famous Himachali Rasoi restaurant at Middle Bazaar near to the Shiva temple. This restaurant is well known for serving authentic Himachali cuisine which is otherwise a bit difficult to get in typical tourist places. The ground floor has chairs and tables while at the first floor, you can sit on cushions on the floor. You get two types of dhams, Kangri dham and the Mandiali dham here. Dham in Himachal means traditional thali, which consists of different types of food items. Black dham, curry. Rajma, This fluffy steamed bun is called Siddhu. It is made from wheat flour and yeast mixture. It can have either a savory filling or a sweet filling made from jaggery. It's usually eaten with melted ghee. Siddhu is a very common and popular dish in the entire Himachal. The lower bazaar or Sabji Mandi starts from the old bus stand and stretches below the mall road, consisting of crowded lanes, old buildings and some of the very old shops of Shimla. This is mostly visited by the locals. You get all sorts of daily essentials, wooden items, walking sticks, winter clothes, two electronic goods, spices and pulses and vegetables in this market. It's definitely a very good place to make good bargains. Situated at one end of the ridge, Christ Church is the jewel of Shimla tourist destinations. This was built in the Neo-Gothic style in 1857 and is visible from far away places of Shimla. Installed in 1899, the pipe organ inside the church is the largest in the Indian subcontinent. Worship is conducted in Hindi and English. The gate of the church was closed when we went. However, that did not stop us from clicking memorable photos standing in front of this stunning building.
It's pretty late in the evening, close to 8.30 p.m. We are on the way to the circular-shaped restaurant Ashiana and Gufa that is run by the Himachal Pradesh Tourism Development Corporation. This restaurant is on the ridge. If you go toward the church, the restaurant lies at your right hand side. This restaurant is famous for serving authentic Himachali cuisine along with North Indian and Chinese delicacies. We ordered Chha Gosht Sepu Vadi local chicken preparation with Himachali Pulao and Jira Rice. Food was excellent in taste. After dinner, we are walking toward our hotel that's located at the backside of the church. The mall and the ridge already took a deserted look. It's past 10 pm now. Tomorrow we'll visit the Kalibari and Jakhu temple. See you all in the next episode. Thank you and good night.